Scanning is probably the most useful technique in solving the majority of Sudokus. Let's take a look at this example and focus on Big Row 1. Big Row 1 is made up of three rows. Row 1, Row 2, and Row 3. Row 1 and Row 2 already have a 7. So we can conclude that Row 3 also must have a 7 because all rows must contain all numbers from 1 to 9. So the 7 must be in row 3. But where in row 3? Well, it can't go in these three cells because these three cells belong to box 1. And there's already a 7 in box 1. And it also can't go in these three cells which are part of box 3 because there's already a 7 in box 3. So we can easily conclude that the third 7 must go in any of these three cells which are part of box 2. So scanning has enabled us to narrow down the choices to any one of these three cells. And that's exactly what scanning is. Now here's another example. We already have two fives in big row two. So using the same logic as before, the third five must go in these three cells. Here's another example. Again, using scanning, the third nine must go in these three cells. In all the examples we just saw, we were scanning only the rows. But scanning can also be used for columns. So let's look at scanning in columns. Now here in big column 1, we already have two 8's over here and here. So where do you think the third 8 goes? Well, it can't go in column 1 since there's already an 8 in column 1. And it can't go in column 2 since there's already an 8 in column 2. So it must go in column 3. But where in column 3? Well, it can't go in box 1, since there's already an 8 in it. And it also can't go in box 7, since there's already an 8 in box 7. So that narrows down the possibilities to these three cells in box 4. So the third 8 must go in one of these three cells. Now let's see what happens when we add some more givens to our puzzle. Let's say this 2 and 6 are additional givens in this puzzle. Using scanning, we already know that an 8 must go in any of these three cells. But two of these three cells are already taken. So there's only one place where the third 8 can go. So the 8 must go here in cell 43. So scanning not only narrows down the choices, but in easy puzzles, you may even end up solving cells like we just did over here. Now let's see scanning in action on a real puzzle. So here's an easy Sudoku puzzle. So the first thing we'll do is look for a number that appears twice in a big row or a big column. So there's one right here. Here we have a 5 in row 1. And we have a second 5 in row 2. So based on scanning, the third 5 must go in row 3 in these three cells. Now the 5 can't go here because there's already a 2 in this cell. And it can't go in this middle cell since column 5 already has a 5. So the 5 can only go here in cell 36. Now here's another one, this time in big row 2. Once again, we have two fives. There's a five in row four and another five in row five. So the third five must go in row six in one of these three cells. It can't go here and here because these cells are already taken. So the third five must go here in cell 61. Now let's look at big column two. Once again, we have two fives. We have a five in column five over here and another one in column six over here. 
So based on scanning, the third five must go in column four in any one of these three cells. It can't go here since there's already a nine here, and it can't go here since row eight already has a five over here. So the five must go here in cell 74. Let's do a few more. In big row one, there's a three here and another three here. And so a three must go in cell 35. And here's another one. In big row two, there's a three here and another three here. So the third three can only go in one of these three cells. It can't go here since there's already a number in here. It can't go here since there's already a three in column five. So the three must go here. And here's another one. Now in big column two, since we have these two threes, the third three must go here in cell 84. So, as you just saw, we solved a lot of the puzzle using just scanning. So scanning is an excellent technique that will help you in the majority of puzzles. It not only solves cells, but also helps you in narrowing down your choices. So make scanning an important part of your toolkit, and it'll definitely give you an edge in your quest to solve Sudoku's.